to the dance floor. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you. You look familiar. Dylan is my twin brother. I don't want to say anything, but I have seen the movie Black Swan. You've met Dylan already? Yeah. Oh boy. My family's from Florida, I'm sure you know that, since Dylan was here already. Um, yeah, he kind of mentioned. Yeah, yeah, he probably didn't get into too many specifics. No, not really. So you're very, like, in tune. Yeah. Me? Probably you're a little bit feminine, feminine, too, I mean. Well, you know, I've, I'm having more of a girlfriend guy in my uh, past. Okay. You know, sticking with, like, one girl for a longer period of time. So what's your longest relationship? I've had about two relationships that were three years long. So why did you guys break up? Let me guess. She left him. Uh, she, she decided she wanted she to move out. She broke up with you? Yeah. And she the other relationship out. before, did she break up with you? Yeah. So is it um, true that all twins are created equal? How do you mean? I mean, well, how big is it? Is it... <laughs> But the Tina, same size Tina, as your I think that brothers? <laughs> Obviously, she's talking about his apartment, right? Yeah, it's a little inappropriate for... Uh, inappropriate? Why not? Don't you think I'd want to know? I mean, your ex-girlfriend kind of left you for some rapper, so I think I'd want to know. Do okay, the thing so... with your fingers, and I'll tell you when to stop. Man, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that... Here? You can keep going. No, it's smaller than that. Come on, let's be realistic. Smaller. <laughs> smaller. Uh, how many inches would you say that is? Ten? Yeah, sounds good. Ten inches. So is your brothers the same size? I guess so. Have you ever seen it? Of course I've seen it. We're brothers. Of course you've seen it. At the bathhouse. Do, do they look alike? Yeah, they look alike. If these twins have similar penises and also happen to be Olympic gymnasts, I've definitely seen them in a movie. You're thinking about calling my brother? Because he's not a nice guy. He likes to sleep with people. Yeah, and then not call him the next day. So? If so that's what you want to get involved with. And then it's your brother, and then it's me. And then he doesn't call me the next day, but then we're together. So you just want to sleep with him and all, all the emotion with me and all the physicality with him? <laughs> Eric the cock blocker. All right, let's see what we thought about him. Rob, um, well, first of all, I want to say this just to men of America. Don't wear a hat on a first date. Now, we know that he probably has hair because his brother had hair. But the, if I didn't know him, I would be like, does he have hair? No hair, hair, no hair. Don't wear a hat for the first date. Obviously, he's, you know, the nicer of the two twins. I feel like he would buy you a nice dinner and Dylan would buy you a nice roofie. <laughs> so also, if you choose neither of them, I'll take both of them at the same time. Just <laughs> FYI. Okay. That is called multitasking. Becky? I think he's an angel. <laughs> he's so sweet. Someone I mean, already had a roofie. Go on. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, did you see his eyes? His eyes are so open, so honest. And so we have angel, prince, charming, beefcake. You ever met a man you didn't like there, Becky? I, I don't really like you. <laughs> Get in line, baby, get in line. I think she was turned on by the line, do that thing with your fingers and I'll tell you when to stop. If you can squeeze that into the first date, magic time, am I right? That happens on almost all of my first dates. <laughs> with bragging. Almost all of them. That brings us to our fifth and final date, everyone. It was none other than Oliver. Bettina, you remember Oliver? I remember Oliver. Yeah, we're all gonna remember Oliver after this. Take a look. So what do you do here in the city? I'm an actress. Really? Yeah. So, does that mean you're a little crazy, or...? Crazy? Why are you somebody? calling me crazy? I'm not crazy. Do I look crazy to you? Just a little bit. A little crazy. Just a little bit, yeah. Why? Body language, where you're getting all, you know, crazy over being called crazy. So, what do you do? I do film production. Film production? Yeah. That's cool. So, what do you work behind the camera, or...? Mostly. Yeah? <laughs> so, we're kind of in the same kind of industry. Yeah, except I do like commercials and, you know, real work. Real work? Yeah. I think I do real work. Yeah, there's there's like student films and... I'm not, I didn't, I don't do student films. <laughs> independent student, yeah, same thing. I don't, you know, a lot of A-list stars do independent films too. As a hobby. 
So when you say that I don't do real work, what are you implying that I do like porn or something? Do you do porn? No, I don't do porn. Well, I'm just asking. Do I look like a porn star to you? Yeah, I feel like that's kind of a trick question. You're just in your little film production business thing, and all you do is press the damn red button. <laughs> I guess it's real work whether you're on your feet or on your back. I'm not, like, trying to diminish it. On I'm my just saying. Back. <laughs> Why would I be on my back? Maybe right. you're on your knees. I mean, this, we're just, these are <laughs> semantics here. Or on all fours. That's what the real work is. Well, why don't we go to the barber shop and get your hair cut? You wish you could have hair like this. I have better hair than you, <laughs> sweetheart, okay? Hmm. Call her a porn star. Becky, guessing you think that's a plus. You star. He's a beast. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bettina, beneath every mane is an animal, and Oliver is an animal. Okay, we're gonna hose her down and go to Rob Coles. Rob Coles! Okay, my question for you is, does the carpet match the mane? <laughs> I don't even want to know. Well, there you go, and that was Oliver, and that was our fifth date. Now it is time to see who Bettina would do. Not allowed to have a five-way tie for first, Becky. All right, here we go. We're going to ask some questions. The game is simple. I remind you, I'm going to start with you, Julie. I'm going to ask a question based on one of these characters. You're going to have to guess which one of the five it is. If you get it right, I'm going to let you guess the order Bettina ranked them. If you get it wrong, we're going to give her a shot at the guess. So we'll get started. Of these five men, Eric, Oliver, Dylan, Nathan, and Josh. Which of the five founded an all-male rhythmic gymnastics team in high school? I'm gonna say Josh the Bouncer. Josh the Bouncer. Yes. Why would Josh, really? Josh is the one that ate half of his rhythmic team in high school. Josh <laughs> is incorrect. We're going to pass to you, Megan. Who of the five, excuse me, four remaining, uh, founded an all-male rhythmic gymnastics team in high school? I'm gonna say Dylan. Dylan is also incorrect. So Dylan and Josh are out. Let's see if our panelists, any idea? Panel, how you doing, Bettina? I'm good. You get taller when you get, I'm, I'm delicious. Anyone want to guess which of the five started an all-male gymnastics team, rhythmic gymnastics team in high school? I'll say, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say Dylan because now he's the most masculine to overcompensate. Or did we already say it's not him? Dylan is still wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Becky, you look like you know your way around a rhythmic gym. I'm going to say Nathan. Nathan is also incorrect. It was none other than our friend Eric Wagner, the man who thought everyone was a porn star. No movement on the board. Here's what we're going to do. We're going, hi there, I'm back. We're going to ask a second question. Who does a spot-on impression of Bill Cosby? A spot-on impression of Bill Cosby, Megan. He doesn't um, talk like him. He just cheats on you while he's wearing an obnoxious sweater. But <laughs> um, Nate? Nathan is correct. It is Nathan. Well played. Didn't even get a chance to take a pop at that. All right. Uh, that said, now you get to guess in order one through five, one being a guy as sexy as Bradley Cooper, five being a guy as sexy as someone who drives a Mini Cooper, rank these contestants as Bettina chose them. Okay. Uh, I think number five was Josh. Mm -hmm. uh, number four was Oliver. Uh, number three is uh, Eric. Number uh, two is Dylan, and number one is Nate. Of those five, you got exactly one correct. Now, after each guess, we will reveal one of the daters until you get them all correct. So here you go. Number five was Oliver, everyone. Big shock there, Oliver. Guy that called her a stripper and had terrible hair. So. Oliver, no movement on the board. We're going to go back to you. Start with you, Julie. Okay. Remember, we're trying to get rank them one through five. Well, now it's one through four. Oliver will be your first answer should you get this right. All right. The next question, people. Um, of these men that you watched, one of them has two children. Which of these men has two children? Julie? Um, I'm going to say Nathan. Nathan? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That scrawny guy? No, Nathan is incorrect. Megan, chance to steal. Um, Josh. Josh, the big bouncer guy. That is correct. You know these dudes. You get around. You definitely are a teacher. All right, Josh is correct. Now I'm going to need to ask you, in what order, uh, one through four, did she choose the remaining men? Okay. Um, so four would be Josh. Uh, three would be uh, Eric. Two is Dylan, and one is Nate. Of those four, 
you again got one correct. Hmm. All right. That said, let's reveal who number four was. Dylan, everybody. Dylan. Rob? I thought he was hot. I mean, I would put him mid-shaft as well, but I wouldn't put him hot. I mean, I think he's hot. Does he have a nice Did body? Did you say mid-shaft? Yeah. I like that. I like that. He'd be closer to the helmet is what you're saying. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. High, not the tip, but no, higher, would the tip. higher up. Would not be the tip. Okay. Oliver would be circumcised. All right, let's <laughs> keep the game going. Uh, which of these five, we'll do an easy one uh, just for you. Uh, which of these five, Jules, tried out for the NFL? Josh is correct. That big, that big uh, works at the double deuce bouncer kind of fella. All right. Well, this is a good one to finally win. Look at you, because you have to order them. Okay. One through three, because we know Oliver, Dylan, five, four. Who are the three remaining ones? I'm going to say um, Eric is number three. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say Nathan is number two. And I'm going to say Josh is number one. Josh is number one. Yeah. Is that correct? No, because please reveal bachelor number three. Your dream man, Josh. Josh is number three. Why would you make him number one? I don't know. I mean, he's just so big. And just beefcake, so beefcake. Yeah. Josh, third, really? You put him third? But yeah, Tina? yeah. I mean, he. I want a guy who's going to beat up my ex-boyfriend for me without hesitation. So he if he hesitate. said he would have beaten him up, he might have been two or even one? Who knows? All right, well. I have a feeling whoever wins the next question is going to win this game. So let's get right to it. Megan, it is your turn, all right? Uh, here's a great one. Which of these five gentlemen not only danced with Enrique Iglesias in the I Like It video, and even if I had knew that, I wouldn't admit it, and also is close personal friends with Lady Gaga? Megan, to you. I guess that has to be Dylan. That does have to be Dylan. Why'd you know that? I don't know. Just a vibe. He's just, a, just kind of a dancer vibe. All right, well then, it's up to you. You have to pick the last remaining two in order two, then one. Who do you have? Okay, I think Eric is number two and Nate is number one. Eric is number two and Nate is number one. Can we see the list if that is correct? That is correct. Megan, you win. Who would you do? Now we're going to show you what you've won. Megan has won a beautiful hot air balloon trip from New York City to Paris, France. <laughs> there you go. We are not only the most fun game show, we are the most dangerous. You will have to tell us all about your journey if you survive it when you get back, right? And we have your address. If you don't make it, send a lovely fruit basket to your family. People, <laughs> that is the show. Who would you do? Remember, people, next time you don't want to get your hands dirty in the dirty world of dating, come here. We'll help you rank out the dates for you. I'm Gina Biscani. We'll see you next week.